A driver in Council Bluffs rams a police cruiser and then police open fire at that car. Now, one man is behind bars. KTV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl is live with this developing story. And we are learning more about that man. Apparently hit by Council Plus police, police gunfire. We're told that he is awake and conscious but is hospitalized at this time. Now, it all started here on Park Avenue just off of Broadway in Council Bluffs. And authorities say that they only started shooting because 33 year old Jesse Wilkinson tried to run over two officers as they approached his vehicle. He's also wanted, we now know, on a federal warrant for possession of a firearm by a prohibited person and also. On a state warrant for third degree theft and failure to appear on a controlled substance violation. Now, they believe the car he was in, this blue Corvette, was stolen about 10 days ago during the burglary of another Council Bluffs home. Now, eventually, they found that car tonight in Omaha on North 35th Street. And Council Bluffs police say they found Wilkinson in a nearby residence, and that's when they took him into custody. But again, it began on Park Avenue here in Council Bluffs, and that's when the Corvette that you just saw there pulled into a driveway and parked. Now, the officers in an unmarked car pulled in behind the Corvette to investigate, and that's when investigators say Wilkinson put the car into reverse, slamming into the cruiser as officers dove out of the way. Now, we're told that the officers are not injured, but one officer did fire two shots, again, hitting Wilkinson at least once, but still the Corvette managed to temporarily get away. And witnesses say that's when a pursuit began on their quiet Council Bluff Street. I see him going down 9th Avenue. But then I didn't see him being chased because it seemed like about five minutes later. Then and we now know that pursuit took officers onto 480 for a while, and that's where they lost sight of the Corvette. And Council Bluffs PD are not identifying the officers involved, but they will say that they are a 13 and 14 year veteran of the department. Police will also only say that Wilkinson was hit by a bullet in the lower extremity of his body, but we don't know any more about his injuries than that. But we expect to learn much more throughout the evening, so stay tuned to KETV and KETV.com for the very latest. Reporting live in Council Bluffs, Christina Engdahl, KETV News Watch 7. Christina, thanks. Well, a lack of snow means